those little things, especially getting sunlight in your eyes early mm-hmm. in the day. I always say like five to 10 minutes minimum without sunglasses and you do not stare at the sun. You just kind of face in the general direction of the sun. It's fine to blink. Uh, Glasses and contacts are fine. Uh, And on an overcast day or a really cloudy day, you want to do that more, not less. That's where a lot of people get confused. More, not less. So maybe 10 to 20 minutes or 20 to 30 minutes. And, And then in the evening, you know, 10 p.m. onward, try and just dim the lights down. It's not a problem to watch a movie or be on your computer or phone, but just dim it way down Mm -hmm. and just really try and not get blasted with bright lights because that disrupts a bunch of things, melatonin and your sleep signals. It really is not good. The thing I've been doing lately that I learned um, from my friend Rick Rubin, who uh, is really into light. We love talking about light, sunlight and all this is you can buy, you don't have to even buy one of the fancy red lights. Mm. Those those have their use, but Mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty expensive relatively speaking, you can just like order online or go and get the red party bulbs Mm -hmm. and you put those next to your bed. And so if you have red light on in the evening, you can still read, you can move about and it is so relaxing. Your transition into sleep will be so much easier. Your sleep Mm. is so much deeper. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you switch it on. You don't get this increase in these stress hormones from the red light that you do from other things. So during the day, you want sunlight, sunlight, sunlight as much Mm -hmm. as you can, bright light, all these bright lights that we're getting beamed with right now great because it's early day and then in the evening just dim it down red lights and you'll feel so much better well i was going to ask you too because some, you know a lot of people have these uh the color leds that they put on and you know they do a little pink room or right. whatever is right. that decent? yeah you can start playing with different wavelengths of light i think during the day you really want sunlight that's the goal but even night, through though. cloud cor- cloud cover excuse me and and try to not do it through a window or a windshield. And if you've been working indoors for a while, you're on the computer, you're editing or doing whatever, get outside every few minutes, mm. or excuse me, every few hours and get get a little blast of sunlight. I mean, it, it sets in motion so many things through the neurons in your eye that they connect directly to this area of your brain called the hypothalamus that in turn releases all these chemicals and hormones that create alertness, mm-hmm. immune system function during the day, and they set this timer on sleep so that it makes it much easier to fall asleep at night. Mm. This is fundamentally the most important thing for mental health and physical health. Wound healing, recovery from injuries, testosterone, libido, metabolism. I mean, it's just, I would place it right up there in the top five of, you know, get regular sleep right. of sufficient duration, get sunlight in the morning, and try and avoid bright light from artificial lights in the middle of the night, Mm -hmm. every once in a while is fine. Get regular movement, exercise. For some people that's skateboarding, other people it's like running, weightlifting, whatever. Get it, proper nutrition, which is really simple. Whether or not you're vegan, vegetarian, omnivore, carnivore, whatever, the key is try and make about three quarters or more of your food intake from non-processed foods. Those would be foods like that would essentially spoil if you left them out. That could be meat and fish if that's in your diet. But if not, it could be fruits, vegetables, or for me, like all those things. And then minimally processed foods like rice, oatmeal, pasta, those kinds of things. And try and limit the highly processed foods, which are the things that basically could like survive on the shelf forever. Mm -hmm. Try and make those 25% or less of your food intake. Right. I think regardless of what foods people are eating, everyone agrees you're going to be a much healthier human being that way. For sure. Right. For sure. And you're going to require far less supplements to get your vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. It just kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it's the one thing that everyone in the realm of nutrition seems to agree on. And then the last one is quality social connection. That people who are really isolated, they don't do well. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a loner, like you have to connect with people at some point. Right. And so, and if you're in toxic relationships, just end them before the 31st of this year. And (laughs) (laughs) and, and, and they can blame me. The idea is that a lot of the things that plague us are under our control. Right. And then of course there's the more extreme stuff like addiction and bipolar disorder and schizophrenia and like those things exist Mm -hmm. and people who are challenged with those certainly need to get the right help. But if you think about the things I just said, regular sleep of sufficient quality and duration, sunlight, exercise, quality, nutrition, social connection, Mm -hmm every single mental health issue, every single physical health issue from cancer to bipolar to schizophrenia to mild depression gets worse if you're not doing those five things and gets better if you're doing those five things. Mm. The challenge is people sometimes are so back on their heels that 
they can't seem to exercise. They can't seem to get their act together to engage in quality nutrition or every relationship they try friendship or otherwise just seems to kind of go bad. So there is a case sometimes for intervening in the mental health issue first, but the more we learn, the more we discover that those kind of core five pillars, none of which by the way, require that you purchase anything. I mean, you have to buy food. Sure. Admittedly, right? But everyone has to eat sooner or later. Right. But sunlight is free. Yeah, but we're not talking about a program. We're not talking about um, a a kit or a a supplement. Those things have their use, Mm. just like cold showers and ice baths and saunas have their use and all that. But what we're really talking about is everyone making sure that they're taking care of the, the foundational elements of their health. And everything gets much worse if you're not doing those things consistently. And everything gets much better if you are. And the, the final point is like, no one can do those five things for us. 